And um, the next thing I wanted to show you in GarageBand is how to, when you're completely done with your project, how to export it. So I've got my tracks here um, and say this is all I wanted on it. I need to export it from GarageBand to an MP3. So there's an end marker in GarageBand um, that will tell you when to stop playing the recording. Um, so even though my tracks are here, that end marker is up in this gray bar. It's a little triangle. So here, that triangle is here at 33 seconds. So I need to bring that, I'm going to click it and drag it all the way back to where my song actually ends or where my recording actually ends. I might want a couple of seconds. So see, like that stopped at 8 seconds. I can't really drag it any further. So I've got it now at 8 seconds and there's, you know, a couple of seconds after my recording stops. So that's fine. Um, so I'm going to go up to share and export song to disk because that's where I want to specify that's an MP3. I could send it to iTunes directly. But I want to specify that it's, I want to make sure that I've got all the settings right. So, export song to disk. I've got selected that it's an MP3. I could make it an AAC, but I want an MP3. Um, I can change the quality. Um, and that's going to tell me down here how many megabytes it's going to be. So you might want to play with that. You don't want it to be too big um, if it's over 10 megabytes, you know we don't want it to be over 10. So, um, for this class, good quality is fine, I think. So, um, choose good quality or high quality, whatever you think is best. And then click export. The next question it's going to ask me is where I want to save it to. I would like you to save it to your documents folder or if you have a documents folder specific for this class, um, that's a good place to save it so you'll remember where it is and then you can click save. It's going to take a second to create the mix sound. Um, this one because it was particularly short it didn't take too long but um, it will take a few seconds. Now um, there's two files. You have your GarageBand file and then if I go into my documents folder it's going to be in there my documents folder as an mp3. So when you upload your finished product I want you to upload that mp3 and not the GarageBand folder file because the GarageBand file is a huge file. The last thing I want you to do on all of your projects is to take a screen capture with shift command 4 of your tracks. So like this area, this area, so if I was going to do that, I'd do shift command 4 um, and I would screen capture this area. I might even go down to like this and ca capture that. Um, and there, I just took a screen capture. I might even want, if you changed any of the track volume, remember we were doing that before where you added some dots. Um, I might want to see some of that too. So take a screen capture of anything interesting that you did. Okay? So that's the kind of stuff I want you to upload the MP3 and the screen capture. Thanks.